Father protect fame edges from poverty, jealousy, envy, hold down. People who see fame edges are lead and want him slow down. Like the fake friends, snake friends, the one them was show sure love. As fame edges turn him back, them attack with four slug. Pre them, you see them, all the enemies them. Want to take fame edges life because of him and make the G's them. Them say them real but nobody no believe them. Negative people, fame edges don't need them. Father fame edges now complain because you bless him with fortune and fame. The more you bless him, the more them eat. So continue to bless fame edges. Just keep him safe. Amen. Blessings and honor, glory and power. You don't know a famous just there for a brand new show, a fresh new show. Big up all of my subscribers and all of my viewers. Them. And all of my subscribers, not not time to change. The door is always open. So don't know if you go to. Now, upon this show, we have a very, very, very interesting and important topic for cover. We don't all know what the talk of the town. We are the most anticipated and covered topic right now upon social media. Today was the first hearing of Vibes Cartel case over the Privy Council. And we all know the co accused them, Sean Storm, Kyra, and Madsus, which is Andre St. John. Now, a lot of things transpired today in court, people. As you can see, it was live stream. The hearing was right in front of it, as much as how it takes place over in the UK. Give thanks to technology and big up to how the Privy Council them get to work. At least we can see what I go on and get an understanding for myself and I work with hearsay. Now as much as how the hearing was public, we get to find out say a lot of people are over so I go on. To how they misjudge the whole situation, they went as far as for say Vibes Cartel them representative them, him lie them, put on a bad show. Now in my opinion, the lie them work. A lot of time it seemed like them have the judge in a fit them favor and I deal with the representative of the prosecutor away. The judge them have parlor in the DPP and our people them are shaking a court in a my opinion for one of the argument them and so far it's definitely a damn good look from Vibes Cartel side now I can't play enough of my clippings or the recordings from the case from the first hearing nor from the second hearing we are going to continue tomorrow because the Privy Council give out strong warning the material not for reuse nor re-edited nor redistribute in enough form of way so we are work with the rules because we don't want them sent for it anyways a three argument Vibes Cartel defense team present before the Privy Council this morning. One of them was, should the trial judge have excluded the telecommunication evidence relied on the prosecution? Now that are the first one of the defense team tackle, the first argument where they bring before the judge them. See them sequence as all the argument them they put out from morning and the same way the defense team them delivered to the judge them. Now a quick summary and breakdown of that is basically the defense team I show the judge them say the manner where the officer them used to obtain that evidence wasn't lawfully carried out. The police requested Digicel to provide data and evidence was a breach of the Interception of Communications Act. So right there is like the defense team I show the judge them say them breach vibes cartel them constitutional rights. That information they not to give up so unless they accuse them we have them rights or somebody with enough authority can request that. The corporal in the case not to acquire that information they just so. We're not supposed to hear them talk about JS2 regular when they're hearing just kick off. And the evidence to the digital provide them I make reference to. I hate them called JS2. The basic summary of JS2 are the text and call messages the digital provide of Vibes Cartel, Sean Storm, the deceased lizard, and the witness, we and I am them called Chow. According to the prosecutor representative, the evidence that Digicel give them, them only find it was in a Sean Storm conversation and the conversation with the victim of between him and his girlfriend. So it's like the defense team argue said them evidence in a TV should have used because the officer will obtain them never do it the lawful way. Them breach a the fundamental right to the protection of the privacy of communication guaranteed by the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms contained in Jamaica Constitution and that a law upon paper. So no doubt a whole heap of things the defense team present back at the first argument. The judge them never really have enough to step on the case eh? and most of the defense team the most of the talking right there and provide legit legal information for back them argument. Now over to phase 2 argument to the defense team provide. How should the judge have handled the allegations that there were attempts to bribe members of the jury during the trial? Should the jury in bracket or the particular juror said to have offered the bribes close bracket have been discharged? So right there the defense team a question how the judge in the trial anger the situation 
situation where them discover a member of the jury try to bribe and poison the other set of members. The defense team brought up the argument that basically I said the judge never deal with that situation the right. Yes, the judge did bring it up, call a meeting in at the chamber, but the move of the judgment never sit good with the defense team by law. And definitely the privy council judge them think the same way as well. Other argument here them 100% back at the defense team with. By right, once the jury has been compromised. Worse in this form of manner, a jury are poison the rest of members. Right away, the judge for the trial for dismiss the entire jury and call for a mistrial. Cause basically the decision of the jury now go forward clean. One of them don't corrupt the rest. In a both ways, them corrupted in favor of Vibes Cartel and him accused them. Likewise, them also corrupted in favor of the prosecutor. The talks are go around and say one of the jury of them half of the rest of the member them 500,000. If them fired up with a not guilty verdict. Now when the judge hear what go on, that jury wasn't dismissed. Them continue the case with the jury. And after the verdict drop and the case finish, them take disciplinary action. The jury they end up get charged and even the prison time. So if you see them go so far people and send them go prison, them definitely have fuck them try bro the rest of the jury them. Don't hear why I'm say the jury decision now go forward clean and basically can fall out in the defense favor and also in the prosecutor favor. So me are the corrupt jury upon the panel and who not the rest of the member of the jury. If me come out and say me I give you 500,000 for a not guilty verdict. Meaning for survives cartel not guilty. You see if you with me, it a go work out in a vibes cartel favor. You see if you know with me, you not go pre survives cartel guilty because they have a jury right here, so I try bribe with. And that's why you hear them I mention at the hearing today, so the jury them prison. And no doubt the judge them was 100% with the defense team on that one. To how comfortable vibes cartel liar them get in a that argument. I laugh, I see Isaac Buchanan and I make the judge them laugh. Right after the attorney talk, I loan whisper, I see the judge them I whisper and I laugh. Be a of them body language and how them tackle the prosecutor representative and this argument it's quite obvious vibes cartel and him team win fierce too the judge them off paul allowing boy all over the place and no matter how him try to twist and go around the argument, it still boy along to the fact that the judge should have dismissed the jury of them and have a retrial. The whole panel corrupt, the judge should have never went on with the trial. People, the look on the DPP, Paula Lowen face never normal. Because she sit down right behind the representative and up, me and see everything. When I see the judge them of the Privy Council tackle my boy upon the case. But DPP never look three plays of that. So again, in my opinion, over Vibes Cartel side, argument to look good. Now fierce three people, the defense team argued was the judge wrong to invite the jury to reach a verdict late in the day given the special circumstances of the case. Now basically the defense team has said the judge put a bag of pressure upon the jury when him asked of the jury for a verdict so late in the day. Worse one of the jury of them done pies in the whole panel. The time frame where them get for make them decision was pressuring. Them never get enough time for make them choice. So it's like the jury of them never did pay attention to the factual evidence in front of them. Them just a priest say a brother here try bribery. So can't tell them guilty. Whereas me they are tired hungry want to go home. And if me not come up with a decision, me not go me out. According to the information I get from the hearing, if the jury not forward to a verdict, them not go home. Them have to be sequestered. Meaning them placed together in a one place so them can't be influenced by another person. Or by the TV, the newspaper, the media, or any form of public influence. Them have to stay together till them fall up with a verdict. Now that I one of the arguments where the defense team tackle. The time frame where the jury get for make them decision was very late in the day. Whereas the jury was done poison. Now we never to see the judge them of the privy council attack the defense team on that one. It's fair enough for says like them agree with the defense team. One of the judge them from a privy council I'll bring up a scenario that's similar to them argument. So again, in my opinion, from Vibes Cartel side, the argument they look good. No doubt, the first hearing I look bad at all in the DJ favor. The more it go along, in defense team, them get comfortable. As I said before, I laugh, them have the judge them a laugh. While over the prosecutor side, so far, I see the judge have them busy. And the DPP body language says all. Should definitely not like what I go on. Who not hear the judge them at the privy council, I wonder how the trial judge continue the case. When the member of the jury poison, tainted, corrupt, compromised, the trial judge should have never continued the trial. Them should have dismissed the jury and call for a retrial. In a my opinion, based off of my understanding, this is a damn good look for Vibes Cartel. To how the judge them attack up at the Privy Council, a retrial them I look forward to. And to how the case here drying out and all over the place. 
the evidence them now go fit enough to stand up in a court for the trial. So more than likely, based off of my judgment, this look like a dismissal. For me, Vibes Cartel win today. Make we see what I go on tomorrow in the second hearing, the final day. For now, make me know the thoughts and opinions so far upon the case. Tell me if it look positive for over Vibes Cartel side or it look a type of way upon the DJ Freedom. The comment here is open. We are look forward to what's in the comment. For now, they got the teacher, Vibes Cartel. Freedom Street, definitely the nearby. That was it for the show. Big up all of my subscribers and all of the viewers that stay until the end of the show. Really appreciate it. Bless up on yourself and go and live good.